guys, so welcome back to another vlog takeover. So for today, gagawa tayo ng baked salmon a la contis. So for the recipe, we need salt, pepper, then cheese. So I use cheddar cheese since walang parmesan. So substitute muna natin yung cheddar cheese. Then cream cheese, mayonnaise, breadcrumbs, one half slice ng lemon, um, 10 to 15 cloves ng garlic, and of course, our salmon. So, this is very easy to make. Hindi natin kailangan ng pan for this. So, ang kailangan lang natin is yung ating oven because we will bake it later. So, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng baked salmon a la contis. So, we'll be back. So, bago natin gawin yung pinaka toppings natin sa taas, titimplahan muna natin ang ating salmon na nandito. So, Medyo kanina ko pa siya tinanggal sa ating fridge. So, medyo malambot na siya. So, yan. As you can see, two slices to ng salmon and magiging one whole salmon na siya later. So, before we start, we will squeeze one half ng lemon sa whole salmon. So, one whole salmon is equal to one half lemon. So, we have to squeeze it all around. So, yung lemon, makakatulong siya sa pagtanggal ng lensa ng ating salmon. So, we can just remove naman the yung buto niya. Magiging marinate ng ating salmon. So, yan. Kunin lang talaga natin yung juice ng ating lemon. So, baked salmon a la conti, sobrang sarap niya. But as we all know, super dali niyang gawin. Dahil para lang siyang baking, pag samasamahin niyo lang naman yung ingredients, then you're good to go. So, yan. Since naubos na natin yung ating lemon, i-flip ko lang to ulit para lang both sides na coat siya nung lemon kanina na sinisqueeze natin. So, yan. Since naka-coat na siya ng lemon, I'll put this lemon aside. Then, we'll put salt. All over our salmon. So, yan. Masalas lang natin ang ating salmon ng salt. This again, then just put a little bit of salt. So, some salt kasi a little bit goes a long way, so you don't really have to put a lot. Parang, mo massage mo lang talaga dun sa ating salmon yung salt, lahat ng salt. Then, next is yung ating pepper. Masage lang ulit natin siya dun sa salmon. And flip it again. Lagay tayo ng konti. Para syempre may spice pa rin ng ating salmon. No? Kahit na may topping siya, may lasa pa rin yung pinaka top no ating salmon. So yan, since na-coat na natin siya, Ang next na igagawin natin is ilalagay muna natin ito sa ref for 15 minutes. Um, we'll let it sit there. You don't have to cover it. Then, while doing, I mean, while nasa ref siya, we can already do the topping since she's topping siya. So, yeah. So, yan. As you can see, nilagay na muna natin yung ating salmon sa loob ng ating ref. So, we'll wait for 15 minutes and while waiting for 15 minutes, you can already do the topping. So, ang next na gagawin naman natin is yung ating cheese topping. So, unahin natin muna is yung ating mayonnaise. So, ito yung ilalagay mo sa pinaka-top ng salmon. 
So yeah, since we have our mayonnaise here, we can already add our chopped na garlic. So hindi ko sinama yung garlic dun sa mismo salmon because yung garlic will part of will be part of the top yung parang skin ng salmon. Then mix muna natin sila. And then after mixing it, we can already add our cream cheese. So for the cream cheese, you can use at least half a stick or three fourth cups of cream cheese. Para maging cheesy talaga yung ating toppings ni. So yeah, we'll mix the cream cheese together with the mayonnaise and the garlic. So, I opted na naging konti na yung batch na to kasi konti lang naman kami. And, what I baked salmon for today's episode is a super makatapos ng mga birthday ko. So, i-extend muna natin yung celebration um, by making some big salmon ala contis. And, today's Friday, so, bawal lang pork since tapos na ang Ash Wednesday. Uh, start na ng fasting. Um, start na ng sacrifice natin for the Lord. Um, so, yun. Sa amin kasi every Friday, bawal kumain ng pork or beef. Para as a way of sacrifice na rin namin. So, yan. Since nahalo na natin to, we can already add our cheddar cheese. So, uh, just like what I said a while ago, you can use um, any kind of cheese that you like. Preferably, kailangan talaga is parmesan. But since parmesan is not available right now, we can use cheddar cheese for now. So as you can see, it's so easy to make. You just have to mix it all together. It's just like you're baking and hindi mo kailangan mag-handle ng oil or ng stove. hindi mo kailangan mapasok pag nagagawa ka ng baked salmon. You can do it on special occasions and pwede rin naman kahit walang occasion gagawa kayo nito. It's just in the, on the pricey side but it's totally worth it kasi sobrang sarap talaga ng salmon. Kahit anong luto pa yan, i-fry mo pa yan, i-bake mo, gawin mo sinigang, sobrang sarap talaga ng salmon. So, yan, since nahalo na natin siya all together, so this will be our toppings for later. So, this is already enough for me because ayaw rin naman natin na masyadong nakakauna yung ating toppings because the salmon itself is already rich and tinimplahan nyo na siya and we don't want to add more kasi since may salt na rin yung kanina, ayaw naman natin na masyadong maalat. And later, after putting this on top of the salmon, the top natin siya ng breadcrumbs para magkaroon ka rin ng konting texture habang kinakain mo yung iyong salmon. This is smooth na siya eh. This is a very smooth mixture. Then, you have the salmon which is also smooth. So, you just want to add a little bit of texture kaya maglalagay ka ng breadcrumbs. So, so yan. It's been 15 minutes. Tinanggal ko na siya sa ref. Ngayon lang, so yung kaninang toppings na ginawa natin, ilalagay natin siya sa taas. So, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, sinadya ko na konti lang yung gawing cream or toppings kasi ayoko rin naman na masyadong 
nag-overflow sa cream kasi medyo nakakaumay na siya pag ganun. So, let me try my best to spread it evenly all over dun sa salmon. All over our salmon. Actually, enough nga lang. Ang sakto lang yung cream eh. adjust yung dami ng cream depende sa kung gano'ng kalaki ang inyong salmon, kung ilan yung kukain or you don't have to make a lot kasi cream cheese din, medyo pricey rin talaga siya kaya talagang kailangan ng hunting budget para makagawa ka ng big salmon kasi halos lahat ng konti ng ingredients niya, sobrang daling gawin siya talagang ubos. Hindi ubos budget. So, kailangan yun. Kaya, minsan lang kami gumagawa kasi nga. Ano siya? Mahal siya. And for me, for special occasions lang din kasi talaga to. Kasi sa pressure ng ingredients, you can already make a lot of ulam eh. Na for sure na mabubusog din kayo and marami rin magagawang ulam na masarap na masarap din. So, as much as possible, ayaw nyo makita yung skin ng salmon. As in, kailangan fully covered siya. Kahit sa sides, make sure that it's fully covered. Then, spread it evenly para even din yung pagkakabake nyo later. So, yan, if you can see pink, cover it. You spread the cream that you sabi ni Papi. Yummy siya. Hindi pa siya nagbibig, pero masasigurado na natin na sobrang yummy ng ating big salmon. Um, kaya rin pala natin nilagay sa fridge kanina to para to keep it cold and hindi mag bumagsak yung cream na nilalagay natin sa taas para kaya siya i-hold ng salmon since malamig pa yung salmon hindi mo agad matutunod yung cream So, yan. Since na-spread na natin evenly yung ating cream, misa na mula natin ang cream sides, then we can already add our breadcrumbs. So, just like I said a while ago, yung breadcrumbs pang pa-add siya ng texture. Since smooth na lahat ng ating salmon, yung cream, you want na meron ka pa rin crunch na nakakagat. Since yung skin kasi nasa ilalim siya. So, hindi siya talaga magiging crispy. So, magagawa niya ng paraan by adding breadcrumbs sa taas. Don't need a lot. So, just have to cover it. Then, you're good to go. So, yan. So, since nalagyan na natin siya ng breadcrumbs, ang next naman na gagawin natin is, we'll preheat our oven to 175 degrees. Then, put this there. Then, let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes. Then, 
we'll see kung ano may i-hitsura niya later. So, there, as you can see, we'll be preheating our oven to 175 degrees. Then, pag 175 na ang ating oven, we can already put the salmon na ginawa natin kanina. So, papakita ko sa inyo pag ilalagay na siya sa oven. So, yan, ilagay na natin sa loob yung ating baked salmon. So, hahayaan natin siya maluto for 20 to 30 minutes, but let's put it first at 20. Then, pag kulang pa, we'll do 30 minutes. So, yan. So, we'll be back pag tapos na ang ating salmon. So, yan. Hi guys! So, ito na. Tinanggal na natin sa oven yung ating baked salmon. So, papakita na lang namin sa inyo yung mga slow-mo nung ating baked salmon mamaya. So, thank you for watching this video. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment sa aming video. And, of course, subscribe sa YouTube channel natin. So, yun lang. Thank you. Bye!